the OTT thing. Um, I'm, I'm over telling, I'm over being an advocate for this because I've had this conversation way too many times. OTT f***s up your phase between your lows, mids, and highs. If you want to create extra um, amplitude, as in extra dBs from your sounds without actually making them sound any louder, and you want to struggle with your mastering because all of your high end is completely way out from any of the places that you've saturated them into, then um, feel free to use OTT. Here's a square wave. A square wave in place of uh, a cool sound that you've distorted together, because a square wave is essentially just perfect distortion in a way. Here's that. Here's a, here it is. Here it is with OTT. If you want all of your, if all of your individual high-end partials to suddenly be offset from your fundamental zero crossings, and you want to have a real hard time keeping your mix sounding pristine with all of your high-end over your low-end after f***ing up all the phase between those things, go ahead, everybody. I'm done. I'm done arguing about OTT. Done. You can use it for sound design purposes, but I promise you, you'll get a lot better at sound design if you don't use OTT for absolutely everything because it makes you make OTT sounds. Just, just, just for them phase heads out there, this is why we don't use OTT. Imagine having to limit a master where that's your main bass sound. It's nice, I promise you. Let's say instead of satin and radiators, we'd used an OTT on this. I know, I can't help myself. Look, like even if we like bring up the, uh, even if we bring up the low end, kind of match it. Take down the high end a little. That's a pretty similar tone. Look how much more out of control that high end is. Like, that's a problem for your mastering. That's a problem for your mix. OTT's not a compressor. You're not, it, it, OTT's not a compressor. I mean, technically it compresses, but you don't use it when you want something to be compressed. Like, people think compression is just limiting, crush. That's not it. Like, right now, um, like, there's so many ways you can compress. Like, look, compression need, need not be the ridding yourself of dynamics. Compression can be, can be adding extra dynamics, because look here. So this snare, this snare, here, in this frequency. I'm going to leave the fundamental alone, one second. So, for example, here. Let's say we want a louder snap, but less crack from the body. So like, so more snap from the, from the uh, initial hit, but less ah when it comes through. Right? <laughs> um, what you can do is you can just have a slow attack, mid-release, um, crush it really hard, do that, and then turn it up even, and you've completely um, reshaped how that snare can work. So now it's going to be more like that. I mean, you might not want to do it that much. I wouldn't. That's different dynamics in the, in the middle. I think I'm gonna do a really aggressive multiband compression, like, yeah. a, but, but like by a certain small amount. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this until everything is really equally leveled out. I'm just gonna crush everything, because it's not like this is a very dynamic sound. So we can just fully crush every frequency. Like every area, I guess. Yeah, it's just got that little bit of extra kind of like... 